Hello everyone, welcome back to Trevor Watch, yet again. Also, yet again, I am obliged to tell you that we know nothing about today's creature and that this is a theory video. I know, it's boring. But I have to tell these things, otherwise internet people get triggered, okay? We good? Good. Because I have another creature to look at. That creature being called Clockwise Jack. The creature known as Clockwise Jack was first drawn by a Twitter user called T. Austin Murray, whom, fun fact, is currently suspended from Trevor's Twitter as of now. I do not know why he was suspended, or if he ever got back on, but maybe it was for the best, as the creature he drew turned out to be real, as he was spotted by Trevor on an unknown date. The image shows a tree, possibly in someone's backyard. Beside the tree is an odd skeletal humanoid creature. Its appearance resembles that of a human skeleton. The skeleton spinal cord is bent to a degree of 180 degrees counterclockwise. Its head is out of a human skull and is on an angle of almost 270 degrees. The creature lacks arms, possibly due to its bent spine. So what is this strange creature? And what does it want? Well, that's just it. We don't know. There's only one image of him that is known. It is possible that he is related to another creature called Bonesworth, but other than that, we know nothing at all. I have a theory that Clockwise Jack is a grim depiction of the ending of the fairy tale, Jack and Jill. In that fairy tale, Jack and Jill went up a mountain to an old well retrieve a bucket of water. However, things went wrong for Jack and Jill, as Jack fell from the mountain and broke his crown, and Jill followed soon after. But what if Jack never died? What if the person who saw the creature is a child? Perhaps Jack hates it when people retell his story. Perhaps it brings back gruesome memories as he fell down the mountain, his back being mangled. Of course, he could be a different creature, with no relation to the fairy tale at all. Perhaps he was an unfortunate soul who died in a car crash. He could be Boneworth's, Bonesworth's third cousin twice removed. He could be anything, really. Until Trevor posts more information, that is all I can disclose. Until I see you again. Of course, he could be nearby you right now. And if he does, take a picture before you die. Your research will be most appreciated. I'll see you next time, if you don't.